Apple has a reputation for offering base models at tempting prices. But there's usually a catch. Less RAM, limited storage or missing features. But with this latest Mac Mini, the base model finally breaks the mold. This time you get impressive power without compromises. Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. I want to start this video by talking about why the Mac Mini M4 caught my attention. See, when I first saw the announcement of this new Mac Mini, I was like, finally, Mac Mini has been upgraded to M4. But then I saw the base variant and its price. As I mentioned in the intro, Apple is not known for providing such a complete package, especially in the base variant. That's why I was like, let's order this Mac Mini M4 and let's try to figure out what's the catch with this. This time around, I picked up the Mac Mini M4 from the Apple store in Mumbai. Super smooth experience. Now, right off the bat let's get the price out of the way this mac mini m4 costed me 60000 rupees this is the base variant which comes with the m4 chipset 10 core cpu 10 core gpu 16 gb of unified memory and a 256 gb ssd and i honestly feel that we should be grateful to apple intelligence because of which we are getting 16 gb of unified memory in the base variant for all macs so apple even upgraded the m2 macbook air m3 macbook air and the imac every base variant will now come with 16 gb of unified memory and that is excellent but anyway coming back to the mac mini at 60,000 rupees and 50,000 rupees for students. This is an insanely good deal. Why is it a good deal? Let's talk about that. Apple has upgraded the design of Mac Mini after long and they've done a very good job at it. The size has shrunk a lot. The name Mac Mini finally makes a lot of sense. Like here is a side by side comparison of the Mac Mini M2 Pro which I have been using for the past year and the new Mac Mini with the M4 chipset. The size has shrunk by a lot. It is only a 5 inch by 5 inch square. And even the height is not that big. I thought that it will be way taller as compared to my Mac Mini M2 Pro, but that is not the case. It is just slightly taller. And this design change also comes with a change of ports. Apple has got rid of the USB-A ports on the Mac Mini. We now only get USB Type-C ports, but thankfully they did not get rid of the HDMI port. So you can directly connect this to a monitor using the HDMI port or the Thunderbolt 4 ports, which are present on the back. Now, one great thing that Apple did is giving ports on the front. So there are two USB Type-C ports on the front, which are not Thunderbolt, but they are USB Type-C, which can be used to connect a lot of accessories. And there's also the headphone jack on the front, which again is a good move. Super convenient for headphones and wired audio. So they did not go too far in terms of changing the ports. It is a good upgrade. But there's one thing that is still missing. That is a full-size SD card slot that is only available in the Mac Studio. So design is great. The form factor has shrunk by a lot. But what about the thermal performance? This is now a very small machine. So Apple had to redesign the cooling mechanism of the Mac Mini. The cooling system works in a way that there is a single vent now. From this vent, the cool air will go in and also the hot air will pass out. Previously, there were two vents, one for cool air and one for hot air. The hot air one was like an exhaust, but now there is only one vent. So Apple had to redesign everything because of such a small form factor. And in my couple of days of using the M4 Mac Mini, heating has not been an issue, but stay tuned for the full review. In that, I will be able to tell you more. Alright, this is the main thing, performance. I ran Geekbench on my Mac Mini M2 Pro, my MacBook Air M1 and also this Mac Mini M4 and here are the results. The M4 chipset is awesome. It is also beating the M2 Pro chipset which I honestly did not expect. I thought that it will be close to M2 Pro but definitely did not think that it will beat M2 Pro. So now this machine becomes really powerful on a budget. I also tried video editing on the Mac Mini M4 using Final Cut Pro and everything works smoothly. Scrolling through a 4K timeline, adding effects, transitions, sound effects, text, whatnot, and everything works smoothly. I have not noticed any major lags whatsoever. So one thing is clear that M4 is a very powerful chip for the price of rupees 60,000. I think it's going to be great for video editors, designers, photographers, and even software developers. But with that being said, it is not for gaming. If you buy the Mac mini M4 for gaming, that would be your second mistake. First mistake would be thinking about gaming on a Mac. So performance with M4 is great and also 16 GB unified memory is a welcome upgrade. But the base storage is still 256 GB and that has not been upgraded. And the base variant comes with a slower drive as compared to other variants. So please keep that in mind. It is not a huge issue in terms of speed, but yeah, the storage capacity is definitely less. So if you end up buying this machine, you will have to invest in external drives because it is not upgradable. Once you buy it, the unified memory and storage are not upgradable. You will have to rely on external SSDs. 
and while we're on the topic of upgrades any sort of upgrade on the mac mini m4 will cost you a bomb like if you want to upgrade to a 512 gb ssd that will cost you 20000 rupees which is insane in that same price you could probably get 2 or 3 tb of external ssd typical apple move pricing the upgrades very high now one controversial design aspect is the power button i'm going to agree with mkbhd over here like the conspiracy theory of mkbhd that there is one person at apple whose sole job is to come up with annoying ideas so that people keep talking about Apple. I definitely think this is a marketing thing. Do something so annoying that people keep talking about it. Placing the power button on the bottom side of the Mac mini is one such thing. I don't know who came up with this, but it is definitely not a good move. Now I know that a lot of people don't really use that power button. Even I just put my Mac to sleep. I don't really use the power button, but still placing it on the bottom is not convenient. Peripherals is a very important point with the Mac Mini. So Mac Mini essentially is just the brain of the computer. You need to buy peripherals with the Mac Mini as well. First up, you need to buy a monitor, a keyboard and a mouse. And you don't have to buy them from Apple. That is a very important point over here. You can choose whatever peripherals you want. You can go for an affordable monitor like I did. I have a BenQ monitor 27 inch 1080p, which costed me like 12,000 rupees. This is a very affordable monitor. Similarly, you can buy an affordable keyboard and mouse as well. And Mac Mini works really great with third-party peripherals. It's not like you'd have a bad experience with third-party peripherals, not at all. So to bottom line it, my initial impressions with the Mac Mini M4 are super positive because of the price and the entire package that comes along with it. If it were 8 GB unified memory, then it would be not a good deal. And then the upgrade to 16 GB would be 20,000 more. Again, not a good deal. But the fact that Apple gave 16 GB of unified memory in the base variant, that makes it an insanely good deal. Now this M4 chipset particularly gets me excited for the new MacBook Air. Whenever MacBook Air will be upgraded to M4, that's when I will change my MacBook Air M1. I still use the MacBook Air M1 when I'm traveling or something like that. When the M4 variant comes, that's when I will upgrade because it will be a significant upgrade for me. It is definitely a great chipset. So yeah, if you are a creator, a professional, software developer, whatever, then you can go with the Mac Mini M4 and it will give you superb performance. And it won't break the bank. That is the main point over here. If you want to buy it i will make sure to drop a link to it in the description box below so yeah that's been it do let me know what do you feel about this video in the comment section down below if you want to see more comparisons videos whatever on the mac mini m4 let me know your requests in the comments as well hit that like button if you like the content subscribe to the channel because it will mean the world to me my name is harsh punjabi and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye <laughs>